I would be hard pressed to say what attracts me more musically is texture or rhythm. Texture really is like an obsession and I don't know exactly where it comes from, but as a percussionist, I mean, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's just fantastic. I mean, we, more than any other group family of instruments, aside from being an electronic musician, you know, where you can basically come up with anything that a computer can create, then percussionists really, like, there's no, the sky's the limit, you can, you can do whatever you want. I think I got, like so many drummers and percussionists in North America, I got started as a drum kit player. That's really what I really wanted to get into like when I was a kid and was what I most enjoyed doing. And already there, the, the drum set itself, the drum kit is already this assembly of different textures, different sounds. Once I started getting into percussion and more hand percussion, and then over the years, it was really just a question of, okay, if you're going to play this certain type of music that already has its roots in jazz or in improvised or closer to rock or to pop, but you're trying to do it with percussion and you, you just have to be, just try and be as creative as possible in terms of replacing the roles, those roles of instruments. So instead of a large bass drum, using some other low sound that you can get you know, to replace the the kick and, and then the same thing with snare and hi-hat and the cymbals, you can just mix all those things up. I mean, percussionists, the, there's so much out there to choose from that it just became this thing that I was interested in doing in order to fit into certain ensemble situations. All I know is that you know myself, I know for you as well and for some of our other friends, this is a style of drumming on a group of instruments that we've taken very seriously for you know 10, 15, 20, 25 years. And so there's a range of sounds and rhythms and textures that we bring to a range of different sized, different sounding instruments that are all frame drums. So some people, you know, lean a little bit towards the Spanish tambourine, but can also play Arab, Arabic rhythms on the, the rick, and other people specialize in the rick, and, and other people are, you know, can, can really wail on the kanjira, but they're also really amazing, you know, lap style players.
if people are calling me, then maybe they're looking for just some extra spices that that they haven't found, uh, you know, for other in other contexts, and maybe that that's something that that they're thinking that I can, you know, provide in in an, in a way that's 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 personal, you know. I also have a lot of gear and. That also has been a good investment as a freelancer is just keep buying gear and upgrade your gear constantly and people will still call you. It's like, wow, the last time you showed up with that crappy thing and now you have this really great sounding thing, you can't play it very well, but it, sound, it sounds pretty good. And you're the only guy in Montreal who's got one. So I'll call you again. It's basically, I feel that often happens, and so, but I'm okay with that. <laughs>